Hello and welcome to a video tutorial of the Zero Free trading system. Zero Free is a browser-based platform that will run on any connected device. This includes phones, tablets, desktops, and laptops running on any operating system. All windows update dynamically, tick for tick, and in real time. Windows can be linked with one another and the layout is totally customizable. Point and click to trade or trade using the most advanced hotkeys for a web-based platform. With Zero Free, you can trade stocks and options, and there are a lot of features for traders. Let's take a look at the Account and Preferences tab here, located at the upper top region of the screen. For User, you can select Additional Languages, Notification, Turn On and Off Order Confirmation, Hotkeys, we can use hotkeys to enter and exit stocks quickly. Let's design a hotkey. Okay, it's relatively easy to configure a hotkey, just click on Orders. We're going to go click Add New. We're going to assign our hotkey ship B. And this is going to be a market buy. And you have the option here for load and hotkey execute. Hotkey execute is going to send it immediately. Load, it's going to set your configuration in the uh, order preference screen. And you're going to have to press enter as a final step. And then once you have your hotkey configured, click Save. Now we have successfully created a market buy hotkey using Shift B. Just draw a trend line simple like that. If we want to add indicators, we click, click the icon indicator. We have the simple moving average, exponential moving average, BWAP, prior days close. If we want to watch post or pre-market data, then we have to select and check mark the box right here. Okay, uncheck it to remove the data. And let's say we want to watch, uh, bring up our watch list. We have our watch list here. We can expand it. If we want to move the chart above the watch list, then we click on the arrow. We want to bring it back down, click the down arrow. And if we want to add, let's say, another sector here, we could simply go to load whatever, which one we want. Our watch list, if we want to remove these, we just click this. If we want to create a new watch list, we can just type in some symbols. And we'll go back to the gear icon here and we can save this. This watch list too. Save it. And then if we want to load a watch list, we can go back and just click on the radio icon, load that watch list. And then also we have our portfolio window here. We want to bring this up. Okay, so now we have our portfolio here and our watch list.
And just a quick note here on the the tabs for open, we have open positions, we have closed positions, active orders, inactive orders. So just a quick note here on um, open positions. It's going to be labeled overnight with a yes. And that means that if we were to, let's say, purchase another, some more shares here of Apple, it's going to create another line. So you will see two positions here in your in the portfolio window. One is going to be indicated with overnight and one's going to be not indicated as overnight. So what's going to happen is that tomorrow you'll see the po both positions with the average price. Here on the level two, to tell if a short is hard to borrow, all you have to do is take a look and see if it has an S. If it has an S right here, that means it's easy to borrow and the stock is shortable. If it's hard to borrow, it's going to say NS and you're going to have to do a locate. So to do a locate, all you have to do is go click short, click locate to accept the shares. The green check mark must be clicked. To cancel the request, simply check the red X box. Shares that are located remain with the user for the entire trading day. The symbol can be traded as often as the user would like. Okay, thank you for watching. This concludes the tutorial for the Trade Zero web based platform. Please click the alert icon to stay tuned for more day trading videos brought to you by Trade Zero.